Into the unknown. Into the unknown. Into the unknown. I am frozen too. Frozen too. Frozen too. I cannot believe it. I watched it. I cannot give any spoilers away. I've been avoiding spoilers left and right for this movie. You don't understand how hard I've been trying to avoid spoilers. Frozen 2. There are some things in this movie I have to admit is not as good as the first one, but also there's some things in this movie that are just so much better than the first one. Let's just start with like the art. Animators, obviously you guys know how to animate things, and it was a gorgeous movie. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I love the realization of powers, the designs of the costumes, the settings, and also I'm gonna say it, they look different. They look grown since the first movie, because I saw the first movie, I saw Frozen Fever, I saw Olaf's Frozen Adventure, then I saw this, so They've definitely grown. You can tell, like very subtle differences, but it's awesome. The reason I can't really go in depth into the music is because the songs are kind of spoilery about like what actually happens. However, given the start of this video, I think you know Into the Unknown is my jam right now. Into the Unknown. That was pitchy. The music was great. It's not as catchy as the first one. However, I feel like the messages in the music is better this time. It serves the story more. I'm not saying that in the first movie the music doesn't serve the story, which it did, but like this time I think it's more mature. You can definitely tell it's a more mature film. There are definitely darker things happening. I cried four times, but then again, I cry in a lot of movies, but I cried four times in Frozen 2 because I was touched, I was hurt, I was happy. It was like a roller coaster of emotions. Also, I'm just gonna say it, it's not really a spoiler, but you can skip like the next 30 seconds if you don't wanna hear this. There is a scene in the movie where Olaf recaps the entire first movie, like how I recapped the first movie in like my first Frozen 5 Minutes video, which you can check out if you haven't already, I'm just saying. But it was hilarious. Josh Gad, I love you. I really do. So it's a mixed bag, but I definitely have to tell you it is a must watch. You must go watch it in cinemas now. And if you can watch it in 3D, you should. I unfortunately did not have the pleasure of watching it in 3D. So sad. I watched the first one in 3D, and let me tell you, when I watched it in 3D, the first one, um, the 3D was amazing. The snow came out. You were, like, in the mountains. You were in the halls of the palace, and it was pretty. And I can only imagine that in the second one, you will see the leaves, you will see the wind, you will see the water, and it will be amazing. The entire movie is basically spoilers. I do have to say that I didn't really enjoy the Anna and Olaf to it. It was a bit eh. It was like, mm, let's try first time in forever again. No, honey, no. But like, into the unknown. All is found. Uh, what's the other one? What's the other one? Lost in the woods? I nearly laughed. I, I, I kept covering my mouth going, oh my god! It was really entertaining, I'm serious. Yeah, there's not much more I can say. Seriously, go watch the movie now. Go, okay? That's all I can recommend. I would definitely be buying this movie. Probably physical and digital. Am I biased? Maybe a tiny little bit. Does that matter? No, it's a good movie. Go watch it. Okay. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not gonna give me a thumbs up, you might as well go watch the movie because that's more important than giving me a thumbs up. <laughs> Until next time. Bye guys. Thank you so much for watching. So you can check out some more videos right now, right there, right there. Do you see them? Also, if you haven't subscribed already, make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss a single video. Bye!